The next type of stool exam is your modified cato thick or cellophane thick smear. Please try to research, try to find out what the major differences between your modified cato thick and your cato cats smear are. Your cato cats is your gold standard stool exam for quantitative stool analysis. Your modified cathothic is your more economical, more field-friendly alternative. However, it is only limited to qualitative stool examination. This technique is simple and it uses approximately 40 to 50 milligrams of stool. Please take note of the difference between the amount of stool that you use for modified cathothic versus your direct fecal smear. As you can see, your modified cathothic will require more stool samples. Therefore, it will have higher chances of detecting parasites. However, it is not used in soft, diarrheic, or watery stools. What you normally use, what you normally use for modified cathothic would be your formed or your semi-formed stool. The materials for your modified cathothic would be, again, one microscope slide, an applicator stick, hydrophilic cellophane cut into the size of a cover slip. So we have here cellophane, transparent cellophane, cut into the size of your cover slip. Of course, we have your tweezers here. Hopefully, you can find non-toothed tweezers or forceps. Now, this cellophane here should be pre-soaked in 50% glycerin solution. So, we've already pre-soaked it in glycerin solution. So, please expect that your cellophane should, would be slippery or sticky when you use it. Also, you might want to use green cellophane. For the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to use this white transparent cellophane strip. You'd also need a rubber stopper or a cork and of course you would need your prep area. At the center of your clean microscope slide, place a stool sample the size of roughly half a corn grain or half a rice grain like so. As you can see we're using a little bit more stool sample than the direct fecal smear. Okay, so let's get a little bit more samples here. Then place it in the center of your glass slide, like so. Cover the stool with the cellophane, which was previously soaked in glycerin solution. So you get your cellophane material, and using the tweezers or the forceps, gently lift them up and gently place them over the stool. Make sure that the stool material lies in the center of your makeshift cover slip or your cellophane slip. So as you can notice here, the, the cellophane is not flat on the glass slide. What you need to do next, you use your cork or your rubber stopper to slowly flatten out. Oh, I'll use this side here to gently even out the stool over the glass slide. Please don't press too much. You might break the glass slide and the stool sample might slip out. Okay, the amount of stool necessary for this one is very crucial so that the stool won't slip out from the periphery of the cellophane strip. One reason why we use new old newspapers as covers is that you can actually use the newspaper as a gauge, as a rough gauge, to determine if the stool sample is thick or thin enough. If you place your stool sample or your glass slide over the writing, over a text or an image from the newspaper, you should be able to see past the stool sample. This is to make sure that you'd be able to visualize something from the stool sample. If the stool is thick, then light from the microscope won't be able to pass through and you won't be able to see anything from the glass slide. That's why you need to flatten it out, you flatten the sample out until light is able to pass through 
If you don't have corks or rubber stoppers, what you can do is you can invert the glass slide, place it over the top of your workstation, hopefully covered, then you gently press on the back until the stool becomes evenly distributed. But you have to make sure that you do this gently so as not to break the glass slide. When you lift up the glass slide, make sure that you do this slowly because the glycerin might stick into the newspaper and if you lift it up abruptly, it might dislodge from the glass slide. Okay? So that's how you prepare your modified Kato Thick Stool Exam. Again, it is the modified Kato Thick Stool Exam. Differentiate it, please, from your Kato Cuts Exam. A final point in stool preparation, particularly the modified Kato Thick Stool Exam, is the use of your 50% glycerin solution. Please try to know the two major reasons why we use glycerin. I hope you've learned how to prepare your direct fecal smear, DFS. I hope you also learned how to prepare your modified cathodic smear. And more importantly, I hope you know the major and minor differences between the two stool examinations. When to use one versus the other, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using one versus the other. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. I mean, peace.